Hello folks, welcome back to The Slice. It's your boy Stephen Boughton, and I'm gonna tell you why Federer will beat Hyung Chung to make it to the final of the Australian Open, even though Hyung Chung is having a fairy tale run and he is looking really good right now. I'm gonna break down why Federer is gonna beat him and why Fed fans around the world don't have to worry. So welcome to the show, folks, and if you're wondering if I look tired, that's because I am. I stayed up till 4 a.m. last night watching the Federer match where he played Burdich and won, and then I had to wake up at 8 a.m. this morning for a meeting for my real job. Things to look forward on this show are my breakdown of Federer and Chung's matchup, as well as at the end of the show, we're doing a little section that I'm now calling Fantastic Comments, where I'm going to pick three comments from the last video. Uh, that I liked or found interesting or didn't like or anything that just kind of caught my eye and uh, talk about them and expose them and just comment on them. So stay tuned for that. This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Cross Court Threads, serving up the sweetest tennis gear for you to rock on and off the court. And you can get 10% off of all their stuff on their website by using the coupon code in the description of this video. So go there and get your dope swag. But yeah, last night's match, Federer versus Burdich. Uh, this is for all the Fed fans. Started out very sketchy, and Federer started the match playing super not aggressive, and therefore allowed Burdich to push him around. I don't think he hit it like an attacking shot to like the third game, so that was worrying for Federer fans. Uh, but Federer managed to pull it out, pulled out some good serving and great attacking after that. Kind of after he got his feet settled and broke Burdich back finally, and then pulled out, kind of snuck out the first set in a tiebreaker. Um, so Federer fans could relax after that, and there I'm sure we were. Pretty confident by the end that uh, Federer is going to take this Australian Open. But there's more to talk about because Hyung Chung is no easy cookie. And uh, neither is K Kyle Edmund or Marin Cilic, obviously, if they make it to the final. So we're going to have to talk about those. And I'm going to break down Hyung Chung's match with Federer right now. So Federer will end Chung's fairy tale run at the Australian Open by taking away his time and making Chung super uncomfortable out there. And there's a couple reasons for this. The first reason is that Chung has played pretty much only baseliners since the first round where he played, beat Misha Zverev. He's played Medvedev after that, then Alexander Zverev, then Djokovic, then Sangren. While I'm not saying any of these players aren't really good world-class players, what they don't do is attack the ball the way Federer does and come forward and put pressure on the opponent. So Federer's going to do the old trick where he takes the ball super early, plays super aggressive, and makes... I, I'm going to say he takes about a second away from every shot for, for his opponent. He takes the ball like a meter earlier and hits the ball harder when he's attacking, which he needs to do. I think he knows he needs to do after coming out so flat-footed against Burdich last night. Um, and he's going to take away that time from Chung, and Chung's not going to be used to it because Chung's been playing guys who are just more likely to stay at the baseline, like Zverev, who didn't play super attacking tennis, and Djokovic, who stayed at the baseline uh, pretty much the whole match. So Federer's going to do what he's done to hundreds of opponents through the year. Take away their time, make them feel super uncomfortable. There is things that Chung can do to obviously counteract this. And Chung will have to play super aggressive and attack Federer on his second serve. So he'll have to attack him just anytime he gets a short ball in a rally. Because if he can attack Federer and make him run, Federer's still not moving like he's still 36 at the end of the day. So he's not going to move as good as Chung is, that's for sure. Um, so if Chung can attack Federer's forehand and backhand, especially his backhand, and keep the balls deep. I noticed Chung did a really good job of keeping the balls deep against Djokovic. They're all like a foot in the baseline from his backhand. If he can do that, he can have success and then get shorter balls and he has to attack those and go for winners. Uh, and then he can have success about against Federer. But what I think is Federer is going to learn from Burdich. His team's smart. Federer's smart. He knows what he needs to do, which is play attacking tennis and be aggressive. He, always, he needs to play at his normal, like almost uncomfortable rate to watch. Like if you're a Federer fan, it's, it's scary watching him play this aggressive, but it usually pays off. So it's great. Uh, but that's what he's going to have to do and just put Chung under all this pressure that he's not used to because he is new to the scene and he hasn't played anyone that's – he hasn't played Federer yet. That's, he's kind of in his own class. He hasn't played someone of this class. And nobody pushes the pace as much as Federer does in the world, and Chung's not going to be used to this. Federer's also going to have to serve well, which he's been starting to do more. Against Burdich, he hit 15 aces and got 63% of his first serves in, which is above the 60% mark where I say you have to be able to – Serve about 60% to, to be comfortable on serve and have a good serving match. And he won 83% of the points when he got his first serve in against Burdich. So Chung is a better returner. Uh, so, But if you, Federer's serve is world class. And I don't think Chung's played anyone with the, the same serve or as good of a serve as Federer. So Federer's serve is going to do damage, I think, and allow him to attack off the second shot and then come forward and put 
Chung under all types of pressure. And that's why Federer's going to take it to Chung, and I think he'll get him in three sets in the semifinals. So what do you guys think? Do you think Chung can pull up the upset? Let me know in the comments below. In the other semifinal, we got Kyle Edmund versus Chilich, and this is going to be a crazy match. I don't really know who's going to win. I mean, me and Matt's predictions, if you watched our last video, are kind of blown out of the water because I predicted Chilich to beat Nadal, which happened, even though Nadal got injured. Um, and I also predicted Federer to beat Burdett, so I'm two for two, and he's also two for two. But, yeah, Edmund's looking really dangerous right now, and I think he could pull up the outset against Chilich. But Chilich is also hitting the ball way harder than Dimitrov did, so I don't know if Edmund will have as much time to be able to hit winners like he did against Dimitrov. Ed Edmund's hit the most forehand winners in the tournament by like a long shot. It's insane. But I think that's mostly due to his five-set matches. But, yeah, I think Federer only hit 15 winners in the match last night against Burdett. It's pretty low. Uh, it wasn't like the highest level of tennis the whole time, but Federer played up played some super crazy points and played pretty well by the end and just stamped his dominance on that match. But yeah, and a quick note to all the Nadal fans out there. It was tough to watch Nadal having to pull out of that match. I mean, Chilch was playing well and causing him all types of problems. And it was going to the fifth set regardless of, Feder of Nadal's injury. But you never know what you could happen. you got to give the benefit of the doubt to Nadal in that fifth set because he's just an all-time great. He's won so many five-setter matches. Um, but yeah, tough to see a guy go down like that. But... Chilich has got a huge opportunity here to make it to another final playing Kyle Edmund in the semifinals. And then he'll probably, like I said, play Federer because Federer is going to take it to Chung. So here's our new segment called Fantastic Comments. And these are comments that I found interesting or offensive or funny or just, you know, not basic. You know, if you put a little effort into the comments, I appreciate that. And so here are the ones that I thought were the best. So Kyle Edmund Army seems like he already has a fan base now. I wonder how long that's been going on for. Let me know, Kyle Edmund Army. But they said, haha, at the start of the tournament, I saw how powerful Edmund's forehand was and thought to myself and jokingly said to my mate that Edmund is going to win the whole tournament. Don't want to speak too soon, but so far, so good. That's right. So far is so good. And he's to the semifinals, which is insane. So I'm sure Kyle Edmund Army is going absolutely nuts back in Great Britain. I'm assuming you're from there. Uh, so that was, you know, that's kind of funny. And if he ends up winning this tournament, I don't even know what to say to you. And then Ferdos Alam, Ferdos Alam said that so-called supercomputer super prediction proved wrong. They predicted that Elena Svitolina will win the women's AO title, but she already out of the tournament, beaten by Elise Martins in straight sets. They had predicted that returner Djokovic will win the men's title, but what happened? Never believe the machines. I agree with you. Never believe the machines. I'm not a huge fan of the supercomputer. That's like another classic tennis fan thing to get it, or tennis channel tennis commentator thing to get it saying we got a we got a supercomputer here predicting our matches and uh you know this is really exciting for 2018 we got a really cool computer here picking all the wrong picks and there was one match where i think it had sangren has literally having zero percent beating team and uh what happened so i think that's not really exciting to me to see a computer make picks based on algorithms because tennis is not that simple and lastly eddie style said great collab i love you both talking about me and Matt from Cod Free Break Tennis in our last video. Eddie's been a long time follower, and I love you, Eddie. And I love all the followers. So thank you for your comments. This has been fantastic comments. And leave a good, thoughtful, funny, exciting, harsh, whatever comment below in this video. And uh, maybe you'll appear in next week's edition of this segment. So there you have it, folks. There's my predictions for the semifinals. Federer's going to take out Chung because he's going to take away his time. And Chung's not going to be able to get comfortable like he did against Djokovic, Zverev, etc., etc., even though it could be close, I'm calling Federer in three. And I think at the end of the day, I do think Chilich is going to take out Edmund because he's hitting big and he's serving massive. And then we're going to see Edmund or Chilich and Federer in the final of the Australian Open in 2018. And it's going to be a doozy. And we'll have to wait to see what happens in these semifinals. But stay tuned for my prediction for the final after the semifinals happen. And we see if I was right on these predictions as well. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe and leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, folks. Head to TheSliceTennis.com for the best tennis articles in the world written by fans just like you around the world. And head to TheSliceTennis.com to buy this shirt. The Slice Ringer t-shirt. It says this on the back. It says this on the front. And it'll make you look jacked and become a tennis expert around the world. Be known as a tennis expert around the world. So also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for live updates during matches. And just stay sweet, Slice Tennis fans. Thank you for supporting the best tennis talk show in the world. And stay tuned for more.
Hey everyone, this is Alana for The Slice on the ground here in Melbourne for the Australian Open. Uh, we're here and we're going to check out what's going on this afternoon. Alright guys, we're here and I'm talking with some local Australian tennis fans and I just want to know guys, who do you think the hottest tennis player is? Rafa. 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 100% Rafa? Okay, good to know guys. Watch out for Rafa, he's a sexy out there.